Okay, so day 21. Um, I mentioned that I, in my 19th video, whatever, that I wanted to talk about a little bit more about like daily stuff, like for me, like what I kind of go through in terms of like recycling and living here in Europe anyways, in Germany specifically. But um, so like for recycling, for example, we recycle everything here. Um, so I have a paper bin, so all of the paper goes in. Um, I have a bio bin, which means all of the food goes in that bin, which is, I think, quite specific to like it, you know, obviously all the food and stuff that you don't eat or whatever. Um, but it's also like bones don't go in there, but I don't eat any, I never buy anything that has bones in it. So I've never had to deal with that, but I have girlfriends that have and said that I don't even know where the bones are supposed to go. I'm not sure, you know, that's a whole separate thing. But <clears throat> anyways, I never buy anything that has, I rarely buy meat. Um, and not because I'm, not because I'm trying to be a vegetarian or whatever. I just don't, I don't like to cook with meat that much. Obviously I do um, sometimes for Tierney because she requests it. And so I don't have an issue for that, but I don't buy it for myself. Okay, a little bit of sidetrack there. Um, the other thing I was gonna mention was um, plastic. So any cans, um, plastic stuff all goes in like a yellow sack. Then there's glass. All of the glass has to be recycled completely separate. And as you go through like the little towns and stuff like that, there's um, like there's recycling stations. So you'll have like a bin that you can donate for shoes and then a bin for clothes and then there's the bottles. And then they're separated out, the bins are separated out by like one, two, and three. So green, white, or brown bottles, you know, so that's how you would recycle those. Um, but anyways, you have to find space for all of this obviously to be able to recycle in your home. So a lot of people might put like like their plastic bags and all the plastic garbage because there's like, you know, like the meat and things like that that would come in plastic containers, all have to be rinsed and then put into these yellow bags and then they get put out. Well, so it changes, they, they get put out, usually they'll come and pick up like maybe um, twice a month during the summer months, which is like really, um, I think only three months out of the year and then the rest of the months out of the year it's only once a month that they come and pick up the yellow. So for me personally, um, my keller, which is the basement basically or storage area, is across the hall, directly across the hall from my apartment, my flat. And um, I don't know, it grosses me out. I wouldn't, I don't keep it there. So I keep it out on the balcony, which during the fall and winter months and all of that, it's no issue whatsoever, but during the summertime, it's really disgusting. Anyways, um, what else? Don't know if you can hear. I have laundry now going again. Um, trying to get everything caught up from Tierney just getting home. But anyways, with the laundry, you um, most people, I think, um, don't have dryers. Most people just have washing machines, and then they hang their clothes to dry. And at first I thought, oh, this is gonna be so difficult because it's like not time consuming, but just like it would take longer, obviously, for you to get through loads of laundry because you have to wait for them to dry and have enough time in between for them to dry. It really is not that big of a deal. It's honestly, I prefer it now over having a dryer um, only because, I don't know, I feel like the, the, the clothes last longer in terms of like the colors and stuff, like the jeans, because that's all I wear. Um, don't get faded as quickly. Um, they smell so much better. I don't know, like it holds the smell. It makes the whole house smell great. Anyways, I have all these reasons why I absolutely love it. Not an issue whatsoever. I'm trying to think what else. Silly things. Like you can't just, um, not that I really did this that often anyways, but you can't just go out and wash your car. It's illegal. Um, you're, because they're their concerns are that the water that's running off, the dirty water that's running off of your car is now going into the drainage system, which is then being recycled and used here, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's the reason. Um, what else? You can't leave your car running. So if you're sitting, let's say, outside waiting on someone, um, picking them up or whatever, you can't be sitting in your car and having the car run. 
I think it's like no more than five minutes, whatever. You need to turn the car off. Um, and what I would say is that most Germans, especially older Germans, um, I have found that they are, um, they have no qualms, no issues about telling you that you, you're sitting in your car, your car's running, it should not be running. They'll tell you. Um, or if you're, you know, stopped somewhere where it's like, you know, you're, there's no parking, but you're stopped because you know you're only going to be a few minutes. If they see you, they'll say something to you. Um, what else? And I don't, I mean, I don't take it as like being rude. Um, I think there is an order here and they believe in it and it works. And so they're not trying to be rude. They're not trying to be invasive or in your space. They're just saying everybody needs to follow the rules and, um, and then it works. That's just what they believe. I think, and I hate to, honestly, I hate to categorize people like Germans are all the same because obviously they're not. I'm American and I'm sure I'm quite different than a lot of Americans, but um, what else? I'm trying to think what else there is. I don't know. I guess as I think of things or whatever, I'll, um, I'll mention them and, and bring them up in the videos, but I just thought it would be interesting. I would want to know if I was still living at home, like what life is like. Like there's another YouTuber that I follow who um, I believe is Irish and lives in Dubai. And I would love to know like what brought her there and like how it is there. Um, it's, it's one of the places that's, um, that I would love to be able to visit, whatever. So anyways, I just thought I would give my little bit on Germany. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it.